Koki here from Gigi's Fabric Shop and home of Jiggy Junkies and we have a super awesome video in store for you guys today. This is a super common asked question. I mean, we hear it all the time. What is the difference between the DX5, the DX7, and the DX2000? So we're going to cover that for you guys today. We're going to open all these machines, show you all the things that make each model different. I always say that they're all kind of like siblings, just with like different birthmarks because they're all so similar. So we're going to dive into that today. Uh, just be mindful, we aren't going to be talking about the DX3000 or the DX4000 since that's a whole another video in itself and we'll compare those models on another video. But yeah, we're going to hop into it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we do post every Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so keep an eye out for that so you never have to miss a video again. Just hit the like and the little subscribe. So let's hop into it. Ta -da! Here they are. So let's hop into it. We're going to talk about the similarities first. We're going to talk about what all three machines share in common, and you'll notice that they all look the same, okay? They're all the same skeleton, the same power, the same everything. Um, we do have a comparison chart on the website on Juki Junkies that kind of highlights the key differences between the DX7 and the DX5. So I'm gonna be using this as my little cheat sheet here today because there's so many things that they share in common. So let's cover that first, okay? So here are the machines. They all have the same exact throat space. Okay, so they're gonna have a 4.4 4 in the height and then you're gonna have an eight inch throat space. So all of them are gonna share that, okay? They're all very similar in weight. Um, I think they're all gonna be around 22, 23 pounds. So they're not the heaviest machine in the world. They're gonna be practical to travel around with. Um, so they're all gonna share that height, okay? Those key features that really make this machine stand out in particular that they all share in common is going to be the pivoting feature, um, which allows you to sew along. And then when you stop, the presser foot will raise up automatically by itself. So you can turn to your corners, do your curves without constantly having to readjust the presser foot um, in the back. So all three models are gonna share that. Next up is gonna be the floating function, which is really nice for my quilters out there or anyone who finds themselves working with bags. The floating function allows you to basically control the height of the presser foot. So you can put it up so you can put bulkier seams in um, if you're doing a bag, let's say, or if you're doing uh, maybe some garment making or even in making quilts when you're quilting. So to help avoid any rippling in the quilt, um, you can adjust that height so it's not pressing down as hard and you're just feeding it through a little bit better. So those features are very unique to the DX models, okay? So this doesn't come on the F600 F series. It's very unique to these and all three of those share that in common, all right? All machines here are gonna go 1,050 stitches per minute and um, they're all gonna have LED lighting. I'll kind of talk about what happens there. They both have free arms, so this little cover um, slides out so you have a smaller area if you were going to slide in a bag or if you're going to do some garment making where you needed a smaller workspace. All models are gonna share that. Um, let's see here, what else do we have? We have the two-in-one stitch plate on all these machines, which is really, really nice. On the other Juki models, if you wanted to go from a decorative stitch to a straight stitch only plate, you would have to buy the straight stitch only plate, which is obviously an added expense. On all three of these machines, the two-in-one stitch plate is incorporated onto the machine. So it's one plate that does two functions. You can have it be open range, so you can do all the stitches that the machine has to offer. And then when you find yourself working with fine fabrics or um, you don't want it to get sucked down, you can simply flip the switch on the needle plate and it turns it into a straight stitch plate. So that's something really cool that the machine's gonna share too. As far as accessories go, they all do come with extra things as you kind of start working your way up the ladder here. But what's something that they all share in common? They're all gonna have the buttonhole presser foot. They're all gonna have the manual buttonhole presser foot. Um, these machines have exceptional um, buttonholes. It's very industrial style. It actually plugs into the machine. It has a stabilizing plate that holds the fabric in place. So the buttonhole means business on this machine. All right, you get the overcasting foot, the blind stitch foot, zipper foot, walking foot, patchwork presser foot, which is such a cool foot. Um, and then we have the free motion quilting foot and the quilt guide bars, okay? And then I'll tell you exactly kind of what changes as you step your way up. Um, I think that's really about as um, important. Oh, and the foot pedal is controllable. So that's something that all these models share too. So unlike some of the other models, you can't program the foot pedal at all. The foot pedal, like on the TLs or the F series, they have one function and one function only. On these guys, you can program it to do what you want it to do. So let's say you press the heel of that foot pedal. You want it to do a little back tack. 
or you want it to do a single stitch or you want it to cut the thread, whatever you want it to do, you have up to seven functions you can choose to make that foot pedal do. You can even turn it off really if you don't want it to do anything. So that's something that they all share in common too. And then I think my favorite thing that they all share in common is that they all absolutely love Glide Thread. Okay, so Glide Thread is the thread that we sell here in the house. It is super beautiful. Look at the sheen on this thread. I mean, the camera's doing it such justice. It's so beautiful. Um, we actually have a subscription club where we send every month, we coordinate beautiful bundles for you guys, either in tens or fives. And um, this is a awesome 100% polyester thread, making it stronger than cotton, making it more durable than cotton. It's also virtually lint free since it is 100% polyester and it's super versatile. So whatever you wanna do with it, free motion quilt, embroider, top stitch, make your clothes out of it, whatever, this is really that thread that does it all. So if you're interested in that, we will drop that link for you guys in the description. And also right now, if you have one of these machines, go ahead and drop in the comments which machine you have and what's your favorite thing about it because these machines are truly the best there. We actually just did a video on the DX2000 making it the most bang for your buck and what makes that machine so special. So if you want to see some of those features kind of in action, check out that video. We'll also drop that in the description for you guys. But now let's kind of break it down individually. We're going to start off with the DX5. Right, y'all. So let's start off with the DX5. That's kind of like the beginner place of this series. I don't want to say the bottom of that list because it kind of puts a bad name on this guy. So we're just going to put it step number one. It's it's the youngest sibling and then we kind of go up. <laughs> so we have the DX5 here. The DX5 has 185 built in stitches along with three sets of fonts, which is really spectacular. You're going to get those presser feet that I mentioned and nothing more, nothing less. Um, the ones that I said all of them share, that's what this machine comes with. You're gonna get that one LED light right above your needle area so you can see it super beautifully. You got that nice drop in bobbin that all these machines share, which is super nice. You don't have to bring up the thread or anything. It just snaps right into place and it's all done. I did wanna show you guys some of the features on this machine that they all share. Just kind of go over what all these buttons mean briefly. So right here, you'll see this little green button. This is your start stop function. So if you wanted to sew on the machine without your foot pedal, you could do so. All right, you have your little reverse button back here. You have your lock stitch right here. And you have your speed control right here, which is really, really nice when you're doing free motion quilting or anything like that to have that speed control. You got your thread cutter right here. All those machines share that in common. It's an auto thread cutter, which is the best. I would never go back to a machine that doesn't have an auto thread cutter. You got your little needle down, needle up function, which is going to be your BFF when you're working with your automatic needle threader and you got that presser foot up and down. So that's going to be the same across the board here. You have your little bobbin winder up here. It's its own little independent motor. It's going to do its thing and uh, that's going to be located in all the machines. Your tension is found right here and that's going to be the same across the board as well. So this is what the machine looks like. They all have this same LED screen. On the DX5 though you will notice instead of having dials you have little buttons here that you have to physically click. On the DX7 which is right here you'll see that these are little knobs which I kind of like and then the 2000 has the same thing as well. So back to the DX5. Um, you are also going to get a nice little hard cover that goes over this machine, okay, that'll allow you to travel with it. You do lose the extension table. So this machine does not come with the extension table. If you wanted to purchase it, it is available on our website, but the extension table is not included on this machine. I did just want to say really quickly though, um, something that's important to remember is these machines are really versatile, okay? I think that this is such a great line for somebody who is doing a little bit of everything. They do a little bit of crafting, a little bit of quilting, bag making, garment sewing. You know, you don't really know what you want to do until you're in that project and in that moment. So these are beautiful, such well-rounded machines. They're going to offer a lot of customizable features for you. Um, so if you have any of these machines, make sure you guys check out the other videos that we have. We kind of have some little tutorials and, and walkthroughs on these machines. So that's the DX5. It's pretty straight to the point. Everything I mentioned in the beginning of the video will apply to this machine. And then I kind of highlighted what was different. So you do lose um, an LED light. Okay, there you get more lighting on the other machines. You lose the extension table. You only get 10. Um, 
accessories and you have 185 built-in stitches. Now let's move on to the DX. Right, so now we move up to the second sibling, <laughs> the DX7. He's a little bit older, a little bit wiser and has a little bit more to offer. So the DX7 has 287 built-in stitches. So, you know, a nice little jump there from the five. It has an extra set of fonts, making it four rounds of fonts. Okay, so it's really nice. I love the built-in fonts on these machines. They're so cute for customizable monogramming and labels. Um, you do get better lighting on this machine. So instead of having one LED light on the DX5, you have two now. You have one right in the throat space and you have one right above that needle area. Um, you get all those same beautiful features, same drop and bobbin, everything that I mentioned in the front of the video in the beginning of the video is all the same. Um, now what makes this machine a little different is you obviously get more stitches, okay? You get better lighting. You're gonna gain that extension table, all right? So you're gonna just pull your little cover off and um, you know, you'd slide your extension table on it so you have a nice bigger area. If you're someone who does quilting or hemming, that's gonna be um, really nice for you to just have something to hold on to your fabric. And then this machine comes with extra accessories. It comes with 14. The DX5 came with 10. This one comes with 14. So I will do a, um, a visual for you guys to show you those accessories so you guys can see exactly what comes with each one. So don't go anywhere because we'll do that as well. Um, but that's really about it. So this machine, you know, it gets the um, level up in the better lighting, extension table, more built-in stitches, and more accessories and everything else is the same. So now we move up to the DX2000, the oldest and wisest. Alrighty, brother. so here we are with the DX2000. You can automatically see that this machine has some beautiful cosmetic changes. It has that nice blue detailing on the top and on the side right here. And this is part of the Quilt Virtuoso Pro line. So initially what this line was is that it was made exclusively for the quilt stores. Um, and this wasn't able to sell online, but um, you know, things have changed and now we can. So let's just talk about what makes this one a little bit different. So very, very similar to the DX7. A lot of people really get confused here on what's the differences, okay? So aside from the visual difference, you're still gonna get those two LED lights, nice extension table. All three machines come with that hard cover, as I mentioned. So that'll be nice for traveling for you guys. But really what starts being different is you're going to be uh, getting um, a couple more uh, accessories with this machine. So instead of getting 14, you're now going to get um, five extra accessories. Um, so you'll have 16 accessories that come with this machine. You're still gonna get the extension table. It has 287 built-in stitches and four fonts. Um, but another thing that's gonna be really unique to the DX2000 is that you get a thread stand that attaches to the backside. That's something you could purchase with the other two models, but this one does have it included. So it's not a very big price difference from the DX7 to the DX2000. That's why we said this one was definitely the most bang for your buck, getting all those accessories and just the thread stand alone really starts coming close to the difference there. Um, but that's gonna be really about it, y'all. It's gonna have the same stitches. They all have the same motor, same capability. Um, same stitches per minute. So they all have the same strength. It really just comes down to what else do you need your machine to do, right? Do you want the better lighting, which I think is like a no brainer. We always want better lighting, but it really comes down to, do I need that table? Do I want the extra stitches? Do those extra accessories mean anything to me? And that's what we're gonna talk about next. So let's dive into those accessories. Alrighty y'all, so let's start off with the DX5. These are the accessories that are gonna be shared throughout all three machines, but these are the standard ones that are gonna come with the five. So you're gonna get the knee lifter across the board. I did wanna mention that. And then you're gonna get that awesome foot pedal that is programmable. So when you heel click it, it can do one of those seven functions. If you wanna know how to do that, I actually have a YouTube video on that. We'll link it in the description for you guys, but that is an awesome thing to remember. So now let's kind of dive into those accessories. These are a little pack of needles you're gonna get with all three machines. Uh, they're gonna give you a sample of the organ needles. We sell the Schmetz needles on our website, but really anything that has a flat side is gonna work on that machine, all right? So now to the accessories. This is that awesome industrial style buttonhole foot that I was talking about. This plugs into the machine, has a nice stabilizing plate. We should really do a video on this one because this is an awesome thing to demonstrate for you guys. You're gonna get that walking foot and the walking foot guide bar. So that's gonna just clip into the walking foot and you're gonna be able to evenly space out any straight lines when you're quilting. Here is your zipper foot that is snappable on the left or the right side. You got your um, overcasting foot kind of to do like a serger stitch. 
Um, you get your satin stitch foot here, which is a nice clear foot for you to be able to see um, exactly what you're working on. I think they call this the, the buttonhole foot for whatever reason, but I call it the satin stitch foot because it's clear and you're going to be able to do all your decorative stitches with this. This is the patchwork presser foot. Um, this one is really cool. I need to do a video on this one. I love this one. And then this is this one is your blind stitch presser foot. So, and then this is that free motion quilting foot as well. So these are those accessories that are shared across the board. Yes, you can do free motion quilting on this on all of these machines here. They do allow you to drop those feed dogs down, so you can do that as well. All right. Now let's jump into the DX7. Now stepping up to that DX7, all of those things that we just talked about, plus these guys right. Right here so this alone would be a good reason to you know level up to the dx7 um for me it would be the extension table but you do get the smooth presser foot with this machine which is so great this is going to be awesome for working with any kind of coated materials um vinyls leather cork anything like that that's going to be able to handle it this is the open toe presser foot so you have full visibility when you're doing appliques or decorative stitches so you can see exactly what you're doing or any kind of monogramming um, and then here we have the edge sewing foot, okay? And then you get the eyelet punch as well. So these are the upgraded extra accessories. So all 10 of those accessories plus these four, totaling up to those 14 accessories that come with the DX7. Now we're gonna jump up to the DX2000 and show you what else you get along with everything else we just covered. Alrighty, so now we're up at the very top to the DX2000. So everything that I just mentioned, plus what comes in this little box. So this is the um, exclusive little bonus kit, the Quilt Virtuoso Pro. It's a nice little hard covered box and it has like the foam on the inside too. So it holds those extra pieces. I did just wanna reiterate that um, the extension table that you see right here does come with the DX7 and the DX2000. It does not come with the five. It is an optional accessory. So I just wanted to bring this out for you guys so you could see that. So inside this little kit are those extra five accessories that come with the 2000 along with the thread stand. So in this little box would be the assembly for the thread stand. It's super easy to install. It just snaps right on the back with some screws. And um, that would allow you to use those large spools if you're somebody who, you know, always uses white, always uses black, gray, whatever. So you can buy the bigger cones and save some extra money there. So in here, you're going to get the pearl attaching foot, which is a pretty cool foot. Um, it has a nice little grow, groove on the bottom to help feed in those pearls. So that's going to be one thing. Next up, we have the applique foot. This foot is designed specifically for applique. While you can do applique with other feet, this one's nice because it's short and clear, so you can get really nice and precise with applique. Next up, we have our cording foot. If you wanted to do any kind of cording, this would allow you to do that. It has that little special um, feature on it that would just feed in the cording. And then next up we have, this one is what they call the presser foot with guide. So this is a funky little foot. This would be something ideal for when you're working with um, decorative stitches and you just wanna evenly space everything out. You could follow it out, measure it out and keep everything super professional, okay? All these accessories are optional, you guys. So if you wanted to get any of these for your DX7 or your DX5, you totally could. Last up on the extra accessories that come with the 2000 is going to be the cording and embroidery foot. So if you wanted to do like free motion embroidery or you wanted to sew on some sort of yarn kind of yarny, yarn like fabric or cording, you could do it with this foot. This is designed specifically to feed those kinds of threads and materials through so you could sew it easily down. And if you wanted to do free motion embroidery, you could easily do it with this presser foot as well. So that is what makes the DX2000 super extra special is going to be that thread stand and these extra five accessories along with the case. Alrighty, you guys, and that is that. So we just kind of covered what makes all these machines super similar. And as you guys could probably tell, there's a lot that they share. So it was nice to just kind of clarify it up. So as far as those accessories go, go, remember that a lot of the features are the same, but the accessories and the amount of stitches that come built into the machine and little things like lighting or buttons versus dials, um, extension tables, that's kind of what makes all these machines different and kind of explains the pricing there. So here you have that DX2000, everything you see here is gonna come with the DX2000. The DX5, everything from here will come with the DX7, um, I'm sorry, everything that comes with the DX7 will come this way. And then just remember, when you drop down to the five, everything you see right here will come with the five. So you lose that extension table. These are those accessories that comes with 
all of the machines. So that is really the biggest thing to remember here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a feature that you just admire so much about this machine, go ahead and drop that down in the description because it's really nice to let for you guys to let other people know what you guys like because you you guys are the people out there sewing and stuff. So let us know. Make sure you like and subscribe our channel. I did want to just uh, give a little shout out to my cute shirt here today. It says quilting is my therapy and I couldn't agree more. I am definitely a quilting bug. So the shirt just brings me happiness. We'll put the um, description, in, the link in the description for you guys. If you want to twin with me, you definitely can. Um, and then what was the last thing? I had one more thing. Like, subscribe. We post every <laughs> we Sunday. We post every Sunday. So make sure you guys subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video again because we, we like to keep you guys informed as much as possible. Also check out the thread. Oh yeah, the thread is going to be in the description. Our website is super amazing, y'all. It's jukijunkies.com. All these machines are listed on there. All these accessories are listed on there. All the thread is on there as well and needles. So make sure you guys check that out. Do not hesitate to ask us any questions um, as far as customer service goes. We pride ourselves on that. So we have our email um, at sewingmachines411 at gmail.com and our phone number so you can call us on the phone if it's super important and you just want to give us a nice little call. So thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.